everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome to Mystical Munchies featuring the official Halo cookbook. We're on the side this week, sweet potato fries. The, what did we make last? Oh, the chocolate chip scones were actually really good last week, if a little bit on the sweet and unhealthy side. Since this one's got red stories in it, let's go ahead and tell the story. Anyone can warm up some oven-ready fries, but you throw in some sweet potato slices and do it yourself? Toss in all those good spices and add some honey at the end, and suddenly, and you're learn and suddenly you're learning to elevate even the most basic parts of a dish. Well, let's go find out. You're probably gonna hear the oven chirping. No bonus points for guessing why. Anyway, as usual, the ingredients are waiting for us at the table, so let's head in that general direction. For this recipe, we're going to need a quarter of a cup of olive oil, a teaspoon each of garlic and onion powders, a tablespoon of oregano, te two teaspoons of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, three sweet potatoes that are cut roughly into fry portions, and honey for serving at the end. With that, let's move into the kitchen and start putting this recipe together. The oven's preheating to 425, so if you hear that chirping, that's what's going on. Anyway, we've got our large bowl in shot where we've got the sweet potatoes in there already. So we're going to add the we're going to add the olive oil and all the spices to it. So we've got our olive oil right here, quarter cup of that. That can move to the dishes. The olive oil can go up. Just double checking my ingredients. Tablespoon of oregano. Two teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of pepper. There we go. And of course I just trimmed my fingernails, which probably would have made that, which having nails probably would have made that a little bit easier. There we are. I was trying to find some place to put that. And a teaspoon each of garlic and onion powders. And now while the oven continues its chirp business, we're going to go ahead and toss this all together. I, I was going to say, I was making, trying to make sure I didn't have one out of there somehow. Whoops, there we had one pop out. Okay. Actually, these look to be pretty well tossed together. They're probably a little bit bigger than what you consider normal fry portion, but this is what we're going to go with. 
because these sweet potatoes, I don't know, I don't know what it is about these sweet potatoes, but they're always a bit of a pain in the neck to cut. I've had to cut sweet potatoes a few times when I've been working on, when I've been making, when I make sweet potato casserole at Thanksgiving, just to make it a little easier for the mixer to break everything up. And this year, this will be the first time I use the stand mixer to, I, that I actually probably use the stand mixer to make the sweet potato casserole that I normally make. So it's a little, like I said, it's a little bit of a pain to break up the, to cut up the potatoes to be able to break, so the, so the mixer has an easier time breaking them down. But I think those are pretty well tossed at this point. <clears throat> so now I'm going to wash my hands. Just to get some of the spice mixture off of them. My hands. And we're still waiting for the oven to come to temperature. We'll give the counter a little bit of a wipe down as well. It'll get a more thorough one once I actually start washing dishes later in the process. I also do need to reach the cooking spray down, which I'm going to grab the other one since I don't like what I'm hearing from my currently active can of cooking spray. Namely, that it's almost out, so I think it's going to hit the bin at this point. But we're going to sit tight for a little bit and wait for the oven to come to temperature. The oven just chirped, having come up to 425. So I've got my baking sheet that I prepared with a layer of aluminum foil on it. Now I'm going to use the aforementioned cooking spray and spray the foil down. Okay, so now we've got that handled. Now we're going to bring the potatoes in and spread them out in a single layer over the baking sheet. I don't know if this is going to be a single layer because this is a fairly sizable batch of sweet potatoes. We can probably get it down. Close enough for jazz, I think. Put that off to the side. I'll give my hands a wash once again. And we're going to put these potatoes in the oven for 20 minutes. So I'll have to move the camera just a bit. We'll put them in the oven. And then I'll set a timer for 20 minutes and we'll come back in about 20 minutes. As much as I would love this to be a first look at a finished product, it's not because we're actually going to need to toss these potatoes Crud. Well, good thing I'm washing the good thing I'm washing dishes after this anyway. Because I just pulled up some of the aluminum foil. Let me see if I can pull that back down. Probably well. We kind of got it there. I do need to be a little bit more careful though. I think that's probably about as much tossing as we're going to do with these. Mostly because I don't want to break more of the aluminum foil. So now we're going to put these back in the... So now we're going to put these back in the oven and bake them for another 15 minutes. So once again, moving the camera just slightly. We'll set a timer for another 15 minutes and we'll come back in about another 15 minutes. The timer just went off on the bake so now we're at the stove. As I've had problems with this in the past, 
I'm going to turn the broiler on. We'll check inside the oven. Whoop, what the? Oh, there we go. So I'm just keep, I'm just gonna keep an eye on the oven here. I'm just waiting to make sure the broiler actually takes. Just waiting for it to turn on. I'm I was expecting the heating unit on the broiler to start glowing. But I've had problems with the broiler in the past. So we're going to actually watch that. So we're actually going to watch this broil in real time. Rather, Normally I'd cut it off. Normally I'd say what time we're going for, which we're going to go for about four to five minutes once the broiler turns on. But... Like I said, I've had problems with the broiler in the past, so we're actually going to watch it in real time. Yes, I know it's not going to be an exciting part of Mystical Munchies, but I figure it'll be an easy way to make sure I don't screw the broil up. I've got it as close to the... Th there we go. All right, so now that the broiler seems to be kicked on, now we're going to start the timer for five minutes, and we're going to sit and watch it in real time. I'm going to be opening the oven off and on just to make sure everything looks to be going well. So hopefully you're all having a wonderful weekend as usual. As a reminder, it is if you're living in the U.S., it is daylight savings time this weekend, so make sure you turn your clocks forward an hour. Granted, most of yours are probably turned forward, especially anything connected to any kind of Wi-Fi, like your phones, your iPads, stuff like that should turn automatically. But be, be aware of like your, your microwaves. Your stoves, your stoves, stuff like that probably won't turn automatically, so make sure you turn your clocks automatically. Also, make sure you check your smoke detectors and get fresh batteries in there. I know the fire departments usually advertise that the, that the time changes are probably a great time to check on that. So, do make sure you keep an eye on that. Be safe in everything else as well. And I'm kind of rambling, just trying to kill time while we wait for the broil to happen. Okay, everything looks to be very sizzly there. I'm going to get some kind of dish down. I don't know what I'm going to use yet in terms of what I'm actually going to stack the fries on. Or in, potentially. I may end up needing a little smaller bowl. Because I don't expect that... Well, the cookie sheet seems to be working fine. So I'm actually, I'm going to grab a small plate so I can plate some of these fries after I give them like a minute or two to cool once they come out of the broiler before we head over to my desk for the taste test. And that's actually where the honey is going to come into play as well. Because the honey presumably will be our dipping sauce with these sweet potato fries. Let me just double check on the recipes. It just says serve with honey. So I'm assuming that we dip these in the sweet and we dip the sweet potato fries in the honey. At least that would make what would make the most sense to me. Okay. Just looking at some of these other recipes, stuff that might be interesting in the future to make. But there's plenty of stuff in here, and I'm sure we'll be coming back to this. I'm sure we'll be coming back to this Halo cookbook at some point. I expect it'll be a while, but what I'm mostly doing is I'm mostly trying to get the recipe for next week bookmarked, so I have that. Ready to go, here we are. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that shouldn't be too big a problem. Just looking at next week's recipe to make sure to get kind of a jump on what I'm going to need to do in terms of prep and how I want to I want to film it out next week. But I'll talk more about that after we get done with the taste test. So we've got about... Got a little under two minutes left. Everything seems to be still going well. So we'll just let that continue to broil. I also want to make sure nothing crazy happens in terms of like smoking in the in the oven. Nothing weird like that. But Okay, we've got a little 
a little over a minute left on the a little over a minute left on the broil now. Grab a couple of oven couple couple of hot pads so I have those ready to go. Good, we are getting the timer here pretty quick. Just ticked under a minute, so we'll be so the fries will be coming out of the oven very shortly. Did I miss something in the... Oh, no. I was looking at the dishwater wondering if I missed something, but no, it's actually just the dishcloth I've got in there. That's one thing I like to do on these episodes of Mystical Munchies as well, when I've got some of these like bake breaks built in where a recipe needs time to bake or broil or something like that. I like to make sure I get caught up on dishes as well. That way I don't have so much cleanup to do when everything's over. But the timer is going to be going off here in about 10 seconds. So we'll get everything ready for that. There's the timer, so now we're going to pull that back just a touch to get at the, to get at, actually I'm going to move the camera completely out of the way so I can bring the oven door down. I don't think I'm going to have enough clearance to get that out without brushing the broiler unit. We'll bring this over to take a look at how it's coming out of the oven. Right, everything looks good there. These came out, ooh, these did come out mostly crunchy from what I can feel on them anyway. So, I'm going to give these a couple minutes to cool. We'll plate a batch of them, I'll get some honey ready with them for dipping, and then we'll move, we'll, I'll meet you guys back over at my desk after that for the taste test. Admittedly, I've never been the biggest fan of raw sweet potatoes. It even took a recipe for sweet potato casserole to kind of bring me around on sweet potatoes at least a little bit. So I'm not sure how these are going to turn out. But I've got some of the honey right here. I've got a batch of the fries right here. So let's give it a taste and see what I think. Some of these I think are still a little bit soggier than I would like. But we'll give this a taste and see what I think. Obviously, it's still a bit warm since they're coming out of the oven, but that's to be expected. I do kind of, I do like these though, and I think the honey is a good, a good choice for a dipping sauce here. Admittedly, it's kind of a little bit weird having the sweetness of the potatoes and the the various spices kind of present a very unique palate to sink your teeth into. It's actually not too sweet. I was worried that the honey was going to make it even a little bit too sweet, but. Especially since I'm discovering in recent years that I really don't like overly sweet things. At least not... At least, well, maybe overly sweet isn't the way to put it, but... I definitely don't like anything that's very sugary, let's put it that way. But that's another episode of Mystical Munchies in the books. Next week on Mystical Munchies, we'll be making the, the entree, Frank's Fish Nuggets. As for the games coming up, tomorrow we're playing Night Fighter Ace from Compass Games... And then Wednesday we're playing night. We're Wednesday we're playing Hornet Leader Carrier Air, Air Operations by DVG. We may have another game video on Sunday as well, but that's going to depend on some other events in my personal life. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then. Take care, everyone.